okay hello dear friends i am doing a silk painting and uh, i donated to our school a silk painting class as a fundraising and uh, so we did it now i think maybe i would like to share this with more people so i will do a detailed video of this uh, this process Okay, here is the guta I use, guta resist. It is kind of a spirit based. It's like a, a rubber. It's a, very much like a, a rubber cement. And uh, <coughs> you draw on your silk and create a kind of boundary. So the color will stay within. And uh, you can buy the transparent color, silver color, and different kind of color and gold color silver color and transparent color i bought this black color because it's easy for the students to see so let's take a close look at it this one if you see very closely okay now you can oh sorry now you can see it's not dark it's not black what is the reason of it because uh, the dark pigment has uh, uh, sink to the bottom so it's not very dark mm -mm. i'm sorry you cannot see it very clearly just let you know it's not very dark and I use a stick to, to tip it a little bit so that you can see where is my stick. Okay, I will use a pen, the other side of the pen, because this will become a, a layer of rubber so you can peel it off easily. You can get rid, rid of it easily. So I go to the bottom. Here is almost transparent, right? Because the color is in the bottom. Did you see? There is a deep, 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 dark bottom. So the thing you use, you, you, you stir it. And I will not stir it for this one because I'm not using it this one. But uh, for this, it takes a few minutes for you to stir it until you get a very even consistency. You can shake it a little bit. You can turn it over, turn it over and shake it for some time. It just uh, takes a lot of uh, time and patience to do this and uh, not much trick about it. And you can see it. It's like... Uh, it's like a rubber cement, but uh, a little bit more runny than the rubber cement. And uh, later it will become a piece of a layer you can peel it off, just like a rubber cement. Okay, so here is it. And uh, yesterday I already filled one bottle. You can see I have two bottles here. And this one, can you see it? Let me cover that. So you can see this one is almost at the end, at the very, very end. This is not enough. And this one is relatively good. You want to fill the bottle, not completely. When you fill it completely, any teeny tiny movement, you can get too much of, uh, of the liquid coming out. It's not easy to control. The best way is to fill it to half, uh, more than half or two thirds, something like it. Do not fill it until the end. It is not easy to use. It's a practitioner's practice. It's my experience of it. There's no book written about it, but if you ask any uh, silk painting artist, and uh, in, in class they may not remember to, we may not remember to say it, but it's just a question of practice. Okay, now you get a small piece of paper and practice how you use it. Make sure it is always okay. 
this one always smooth and another good thing about use this um, transparent or, or black one is that uh, it is easy to it is not so easy to get stuck and uh, if you open it up you can see it's uh, th this one is not dried up when it is dried up you can see a, a, a layer of it it becomes stuck into it and not easy to use so i press i already okay, look at my hand i already oh sorry my camera oh don't do that to me okay i'm doing important things camera hello okay so i pressed a little bit it does not come out wait a little bit until you get you come out a little bit good and just practice the consistency I may not do it with first and second grade it will be hard to do with some students some students yesterday we did it with young age student second grade six years old and uh, some did it really well with the right consistency some did not do that well because um, it's um, and also, after some time, you become tired. And make sure every line here, I didn't get it enclosed, then color will come out. So make sure this one get enclosed, okay? So <clears throat> here, you put it aside a couple of minutes, it's okay. Will not get it stuck. And you get a piece of paper on the bottom and, uh, and uh, fix your silk onto it. If you do a job, have a class, make sure you iron the silk at the beginning, uh, before, the, before the class starts. And like this curl and things is not so easy. And I will do it just like this. And... Um, you do it more often, you have kind of build up, accumulate your experience. You know how to fix all this problem. I do not have a piece of large enough paper, so I use two pieces of paper and uh, fix it together to make into one piece of paper. This I learned from students. Whatever paper you give them, they will stick two pieces of papers and make a large work. And... Uh, it's uh, just their character, some of their thumbs character. Some, whatever size paper you give them, they will cut it into half and do the smaller version. So, do I make a design? Why not? I can make a design on this piece of paper and then I trace around it. Let me have my pencil box. I need my good pencil to do good work. It's my habit, Stadler. I have done um, a bird of paradise. I want to do a bird of paradise again. And uh, so search online image and until you find bird of paradise, bird of bird of paradise and get a picture of it this one is not bad do it just a simple okay we will do this picture so let me see the silk size the size of the silk so i know roughly where i paint on does not have to be perfect nothing is perfect in this world so bird of paradise one two
Okay. You may get it different from it, but uh, it's okay. So I was doing too much on this side, so when you s fix the silk, you will do a different thing. Okay, now let's do it. Let's do it. I do it. I do it. I do it. Da 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 Good night. Tonight's gonna be a good good night. I da da da. Tonight's gonna be a good night. Tonight's gonna be a good. Good night. I, Fix here. Fix here. Stretch a little bit. Tonight's gonna be a good, good night. I, Tonight's gonna be a good night. Okay, so here we stretch a little bit. And here we stretch a little bit. Here we stretch a little bit. And here we stretch a little bit. It's gonna be all right, I'm telling you, man. You good. You good anyway, you made me the didn't. Okay, so before you start, get a piece of paper on your side. I deserve to use a piece of uh, luxury paper, I'm pretty sure. Okay, on the side and start. Take a deep breath. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is that I Then, 
Okay, so I'm done with my outlining. So you can take a look by what? By, by open up your eyes. Right? Does it make sense? And wait a little bit. And this is one class job, I think. And uh, for some students, it takes longer time to decide. For some students, it takes a shorter time to decide. And if they finish their work, you can give, some, uh, give them some other jobs to do uh, or just do a free draw. And uh, do not push. You push something, never get it right. So do not push. Let them do. And, uh, and uh, it's a fun experience that keep on, keep making sure. And uh, it looks quite simple but when you put color you can make it much more complicated it's not yet dried you can blow it dry use a, a hair dryer to a heat gun or hot gun to to dry it but nothing 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 nada and rien and um, nothing can be better than just let it naturally dry it up so if you have the luxury of time, let it dry by itself. And I think we should allow ourselves the luxury of letting it dry, right? And uh, I will stop this video and the next video I will do I will do the checking. So just let you know how okay, you check it. dear everyone, dear friends. So this one is totally dried absolutely dried so here there are some places i do not feel so comfy comfortable and uh, i can turn it over and check it out check it out so it's uh, it's sealed 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 all of them are sealed and uh, if you do it in class Make sure you have your students, uh, you, you, you will check it when they go back home and uh, when it is dried up. Make sure you, you do uh, a job because uh, some students, they will just uh, cry if, uh, if it did not turn out right, even if it is not your, your response, it's not your fault and uh, they have all the right to blame you anyway yes so <clears throat> make sure you it's all checked every line is connected and th this is a good thing about using black one because you can check it so now we are going to paint it and you need a suspended surface there are some people there are some artists they, they will they do it in class so not so many frames i never bought any frame and i do not use frame i use boxes so let's go to the boxes so you peel off the side and for the extra thread you may want to just take care of it right now right here right right here right now not too many of these little small lines and there are still some tapes here and there. Okay, cut it. Sorry, you can see I'm pretty miserably using a student scissor. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now this is good. Now we will okay, fix it. Now we are going to fix the silk onto the onto a frame. I will use my temporary frame. 
if I dare to call it a frame. So I will fix it onto this um, uh, a box. So you need push pin. The good thing is, uh, the good thing of an art teacher is that you have all these things around, push on. Good. Make sure it is uh, hot. Is that the English word? I do not know Stretch it. Now we can do the 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 coloring. Okay. We can start the coloring. And um, <clears throat> one thing I want to say, I have the bibet. Let me see the colors. It's very good to use a Chinese painting brush. Now I have these colors. And uh, uh, doing silk painting, you need three colors, red, if you need black, black you cannot blind it, so uh, black also. But uh, I would like to do with only red, blue and, and yellow. It's, a, it's one of the best opportunity you teach students about coloring, right? About color blending. And uh, all the colors are so free flow. So it's one of the best opportunity. Scarlet red, we will just use the most common magenta red. This must be digital red. No, I need yellow, blue, and red. I will use magenta. Come, come, my red, scarlet red, scarlet red. Okay, scarlet red, nothing wrong with it. I will not in in. At school, I have those bibet can put it in and drip it off, and uh, I don't think I have it at home. as good as uh, ceramic it's so easy to clean up so use ceramic and nothing is as good as Chinese painting brush use Chinese painting brush let me see I, I have uh, I used to have some brush that dedicates to silk painting and uh, for uh, for demonstration reason I use them to to show you the Chinese brush, so I need to make some new one. Okay, these are clean brush. This too is good. Another one. And this color can be washed out, so that's the good thing about it. This should be a clean one. Let me see and get a little bit of water is good. You do not need a lot of water. Do not waste, do not waste. Okay, this is decently clean, so you can use this one for one color. Another one, it's too clean. Mm -hmm. I feel sorry for using so clean. It's too good. And uh, I need to mini, mini, mini more to come. Okay, that's a good one. Should be. That should be a good one. Okay, I let me just use the clean brush. White cloud is always a good brush. 
white cloud always good brush I was thinking doing some in some other place. Let me just do it here. Make it messy here. Make sure. Okay, T, you are out of out of this out of my week now. And we still have this piece of paper as a backing, as a protection. That's just perfect. Just to perfect. Are we in the right zoom? Good, good. Now we are going to get start. And another piece of paper to protect my table. You do not want to have a bad relationship with your husband, right? Do not want to anger your husband, right? So better clean it up. Clean yourself. It's kind of a waste using white paper. You can use old newspaper. But, uh, use one of the oldest dish. We need three colors. Dedicate. <clears throat> Dedicate red. Good. Red brush. Blue brush, blue brush, good. Yellow brush, why? Where is my yellow? Yellow, where is my yellow? Oh yes, here. Yellow. You so quick. They finish so quick. It's a one. This one is too dirty. Okay. I think I have no choice but to use these three brushes. Just do not want to use. Oh yes, this one is good. Ah, this is a clean brush. Okay, this one is for blue. So let me see bird of paradise, bird of paradise, bird of paradise, let's search the image, okay it's kind of yellow and red. Red, blue, and we need a yellow. And here, purple, so we can go with yellow. It's too small, this brush. Need a larger brush for yellow. Not tight. Fix a little bit. We need more push pins. Want to work on that side better. Push. It. Did we say orange? Yes, we said orange. So, so
Now, what we need to do, we need to use some diluted yellow, which means yellow with water, and push this red color to the edge. Did you see? You push it. It's all in the practice. There is really not very much you can... Are we in the right zone? I'm sorry, we are not in the right zone. Okay, push it. And let some of this orange color come into the center. Okay, that's a good one. Now, get some more water. This one. I'm in, in the right room. Okay, see how we do it. So you have water and it pushes the color. It pushed to the edge. Push to the edge. Do not want to get so much red. It's better to have a short hair so that uh, your hair does not uh, fly around. Okay. Now we will work on this one. So we use a push pin to tighten it up a little bit. Use a push pin. Okay. Now we will work on this one. We can take a good look. So get a little bit of water. It's not totally. Water will push the color to the edge. Did you see? Did you see the color goes to the edge? T'as vu? Vous avez vu? T'as vu? T'as vu? And each one is not even, that's good. You do not want to make everything exactly the same. Some has more color, red color, some have more orange color. It's just the way it is, right? Such is life. It's not fair. Jamais fair. So yesterday we did it with uh, three or uh, five students. It's quite doable. I was thinking if I do it in class with 20 students will be quite uh, impossible. So you do it with um, something like uh, 10 students and uh, get a parent help. It's quite doable. Right? So there are some with stronger color, mushy around. There are some with, uh, with a less strong color. You want to even it out a little bit. It's your choice. Don't say I'm wrong, I'm right. Each time you want to. So there are some color coming out. It's okay. One thing you can do, you can wash it. 
one thing you can do if you really do not like it you can put some color water on the side and uh, get a piece of a little absorbing paper to get rid of the color and when it is dried up you cannot see any of this okay so here this one we will do it more on the yellow side okay so we make it more yellow with some red How about this one? We put red in the center and the yellow on the edge. So now I will use some diluted red. This is a red brush, diluted. More water, voila. This does not have a clear edge, which is what I intend to do, not a clear edge. Okay. Now this one, we will put some teeny tiny bit of red in the center. Now water. water there is too much water what do you do you absorb it this is one of the way of doing it or just let it be 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 okay and this one is purple color do we remember it's a sh it's a very light purple color so you will put some red first some red first and then some very small amount of blue we want to put the blue on the where's my blue brush this should be my blue brush. Teeny tiny little bit of blue. We do it on the edge. That's a little bit too much of this blue. It's gonna be all right, okay? Don't worry. Then we put water to wash it out and even it out. So you can sing a song, but in class, better not allow student, too many students sing a song at the same time. It can be, song is the most powerful thing. It can be very, very entertaining, enjoyable. At the same time, it can be very offensive. Not the word is offensive, it's just the sound. If you have two students who do not work together, who do not enjoy to be together, gosh, you are asking for trouble. So this one, we will put blue on this edge. Okay, mind you, here, here we have this. It's very possible that the color goes through here to here. So what do you do? Now at this time, before it's getting wet, have a teeny tiny little piece of paper and raise it above. 
raise it here another one raise now this one we will fix here this one we will fix here so it's a suspended not even reaching to this stick okay so we have blue on this side more blue on this side how about we make it green? Green is made of blue and yellow, right? Are we right? Are we right, students? Good. Blue on this side. Now we will use yellow to push on the other side. We need a little bit of more yellow. Yellow is one of the most precious colors. I just love yellow. And it's not a personal discrimination or, 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 or color system. We have a racist, we have a, um, color discrimination and sexist, what else? And we are not doing colorist, colorist, colorist. We are not just a colorist. It's just my personal preference of this color. See when it moves around. Some color moves better, some color moves less. Uh, each color has a character, okay? Even if you put in water, even if uh, however you treat it, each color has a character. Isn't it funny enough? I'm not being a uh, colorist. I'm not being racist. I'm not being... Um, 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 you know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just not being any of these things you are talking about. I am having, oh my god, your husband will be not happy. Gosh, if any of you are an art teacher, you the first thing you will thank the first person you will thank is your spouse allow you to mess around at home to allow you have fun it's a very special thing okay so now we are done with this um, almost done and when it's getting dry, the color will be so much more pale. And I want to put a black background on it. And uh, I'd better wait. What do you think? I can wait a little bit. Or maybe I will do it right now. Otherwise, we will not have time. And uh, since I'm, I, 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 I am in the mood of doing it, so go ahead, do. I will use black cool. I think this is black. Black is just a dirty color. I'm sorry to say it. I am not being colorist. I am not being any of those things. I am just being fact. Black is kind of dirty color. I think we are going to use all this black. Look at it. Oh, how good is this black? Because using black, we can we can hide this um, uh, black outline, right? Ho ho, ho ho ba. This is a delicate part. You deserve to see the delicate part. Okay, we are running out of battery today. I am. Sometimes you just put your hand there. Do not push. Because the water will run. It will go to the place where there is not enough enough moist. So the water will run by itself. Do not worry. Stay there. Yes.
this is really fun to do it. So stay there. Look, water will go there. Do not do too much work. Nature will help you. Nature will help you to do the job. Okay, we are going to finish this black. Get some more water. It will be diluted a little bit, but it's gonna be because we need to use all this. This may not be the most beautiful silk, but uh, it shows one of the method, which is using uh, Guta resist, using resist that you block all the color line and let the color stay in one particular place and do not uh, messing around, do not fly around those colors. This is that particular method, okay? And do not comparing, compare me with great silk artists. They are great, I am not great. And uh, they make a living out of it, they are great. And also, they, I, I really appreciate those artists really appreciate yeah so, so we are at the very 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 end of our battery life and battery is dying at any moment I think I need some more black this one is not black enough and uh, I think I am running out of black. Yes, I still have a teeny tiny little bit black. I'm pretty teeny. Okay. Condense a little bit of this black. Otherwise, some places blacker than the other place, it's not good, right? That is discrimination. We do not want to do things discriminating. Color will go its own way, don't worry.
Now what we do, we'll wait until it's getting dried. Not very much we can do. Enjoy your afternoon. Happy Friday. And I will show you when it is getting totally uh, um, dried up. Okay. Bye bye. For and uh, the brush is relatively easy to, to wash. This black and, uh, you can use it for okay so this one is dried up so this is the final piece of it